This is Apostle Patrick G. Randolph. Thank you for joining me again on another episode of I Care, coming to you from Praise Christian Center in Channel View, Texas, on Houston's east side. Want you to know that God loves you, I love you, and I want you to know again that God says in his word, cast all your care upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. God is a loving God. He's an awesome God. But the awesome thing about him, the most wonderful thing, is to know the love of his protection. You know, God protects us because of his love for us. And I'll tell you one thing about our God. He will never, ever let you go. He will never, ever leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. And guess what? He's giving you a word so that you can be able to stand in his life and be victorious in his life. God's intent is never for you to be defeated. It has never been for you to be out. It has never been for you to be the loser. But God is always his intent. His perfect intent is that we be victorious, overcoming children of the living God. That includes you this day. That includes me. That includes everybody that's ever been born in this earth. The intent of God is nothing but the best. Hallelujah to his name. So I want to just share with you again from the book of 1 John chapter 5. Hallelujah. And then from verse 4, it says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The just shall live by faith. Remember that? The just shall live by faith. In other words, we are to live by what we believe that God has said above what we see with our natural eyes. You know, one of the things that, that keeps many people from seeing what God is saying is because you try to live in your natural too much and you try to take the word of God and to try to make that into a natural word, even though it's spoken here and it's written here. But the word of God is spirit. The word of God declares his word is spirit, spirit, spirit. And so when you use the word of God, you use it by your spirit, not by your head, not by your mind. And faith is of the spirit. It is not of the head. So the Lord God already, he wants you to know some things because it says again in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 5, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Hallelujah. And this is the victory to overcome the world. Again, he says, even our faith. Now, again, the fifth verse says, who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the son of God. So God desires to, to truly help us. He's given us the victory. He truly desires to help us to walk in that victory uh, that he has given to us. He's already made his intent known. Hallelujah. He's already made his intent known in his word. And it's not up to God whether you receive or not. It's up to you. And that's going to be determined by whether you believe or not. Hallelujah. One of the things that the Lord spoke to me some time ago, and I want to just encourage you with this, is that what you believe is very important. What you believe is vitally important to your life because you act out of what you believe. You do things out of what you believe. Amen. Whatever's settled in you, that's what's going to come out of you. And that's why you want to do as the word of God declares, the word is forever settled in the heavens. Oh, God. So, Lord, turn now and set your word, let your word be settled in me so that I can be the victorious overcomer that you promised and I can believe everything that you've spoken. And not only will I believe it, Father, then I'll be able to see the demonstration of your word come to pass in my life. I don't want to be a, a sometimes follower, Lord God. I want to be committed to you because I know you have plans for me. And victory comes through faith in God, hallelujah, and obedience to his word. You can't get around that. Uh, uh, no, you can't get around that. It's obedience to God and to his word. The word of God is life. I'll say that again. The word of God is life. The word is able to sustain you and keep you and cause you to progress. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The word, according to the Apostle Paul, is able to build you up. Get into the word. Know the provision of God. 